In this video, we are going to discuss projection of solids with the condition axis inclined catch P and parallel to VP. When a solid is sustained with this axis inclined to any one of the plane, so the projection, that means the elevation plan of the solid can only be thrown in two stages. If the axis is inclined to HP, initially we had assumed that the axis of the solid is perpendicular to HP. Projection of the solid with axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP must be drawn as the first stage. This condition we have already discussed in the previous video. According to the given inclination with HP, the elevation of the first stage to be treated with respect to XY line. Then by projecting for the elevation of a second stage and plan of the first stage, the final, the final plan can be drawn. Plan in the initial position, there is a base shape of the solid must be drawn by considering the subcondition of the solid with respect to the planes. When a prism is thrusting with this day's edge on the ground, that particular base it should be perpendicular to EP. So the plan of the first state is to be drawn by having one side of a solid perpendicular to EP. Project the corners and draw the elevation. Name the corners. The top and bottom corners can name differently. This naming is done to easily identify the corresponding edges and corners of the second stage. Now to draw the second stage elevation, we should see the inclination of the object with HP. If inclination of axis is given, the side or rectangular face also will have the same inclination. If the base inclination is given, that angle should be taken on the base. Thereby, Redraw the second state elevation for the given inclination. Mark numbers on the bottom and top corners. For drawing axis line, take the measurement from the first stage elevation, then mark it on the second stage elevation and you can draw the axis. Draw projection lines from both the top and bottom bases of the second stage elevation. Draw projectors from the first stage plane also. Identify the corresponding Intersection points of the top base. Darken all these edges of the top base because all the top edges are going to be visible. Identify the corresponding intersection points of the bottom base. Darken only the outer edges. Inner edges should be drawn dotted. Visible longer edges should be drawn as dark lines. Invisible longer edges should be dotted lines. These are the different persons with the same condition resting on the ground with this base edge and accessing glend HP and parallel to VP. Triangular prism, square prism, pendulal prism, hexagonal prism. The second possibility for the prism in this axis perpendicular HP and parallel to VP condition case, it can rest at this base corner. This is a triangular prism resting at the base corner. Square prism resting with base corner, pentadimal prism, hexagonal prism. In all these cases also, the axis is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Now, we will go in detail about pyramids resting with this base edge on HP. In the first stage, we are to draw the plan by having one edge perpendicular to VP because the pyramid is resting with this base pitch. Then project it above the XY line to draw the elevation. When the pyramid's axis is inclined to HP, it will be C to take the inclination on the base, not on the axis. If the axis is theta degree inclined, then the base inclination is 90 minus theta degree. Redraw the second stage elevation in the take third position. Project all the points from it below the XY line and project from the plan of the first two stage. Project the apex up up point also. Identify the corresponding intersection points, name it accordingly, darken the visible edges, darken the invisible edges as dark line. Draw the slant edges by joining the base corners to the apex point. Let us see different pyramids with the same condition, resting on the ground with the base edge and accessing grand HP and parallel WP. This is a triangular pyramid. Square pyramid, 
pendermal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid. Though the pyramid is resting with its base edge, the triangular face can be perpendicular to HP. Let us see the projection in that cases. First one is a triangular pyramid, square pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid. Another possibility is pyramid is lying on the ground with its triangular face. It is a triangular pyramid, square pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid. Next case, or the pyramid is resting with its base corner with the main condition axis inclined HP and parallel VP. By resting with its base corner, the pyramid slant edge can be perpendicular to HP. Another possibility of the pyramid is the pyramid may lie on the ground with a slant edge. Hexagonal pyramid resting on the ground with its base corner axis inclined HP and parallel VP. Resting with its base corner and slant edge perpendicular to HP. Laying on the ground with its slant edge. Next is a scene the resting with a fine of the base on HP. Because cylinder does not have any base corners or base edges. So cylinder can have only a base find a base on the ground. Cone testing it a fine with the base on HP. Cone can rest on the ground with this generator perpendicular to HP. Cone can lie on the ground also with the generator.